In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the eight ways of lean manufacturing and also provide you with some practical examples. Once you understand what the eight ways are, the best way to recognize waste in a system is to physically go out and observe the process or shadow people doing the work. Let me know which type of waste you think is the worst of all in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to wait until the end of the video for a bonus tip on how to easily remember the eight wastes. Hi, I'm Luca. Welcome to this channel where I share weekly videos about Lean Six Sigma and how it can improve both your professional and personal life. If you're new here and want to keep learning more about Lean Six Sigma, please click the red subscribe button and little bell below so you get notified as soon as new content is uploaded. The first waste is transportation. This is when we are physically moving an item or inventory. Some examples are excessively moving around raw materials between work centers or buildings. Another example is moving equipment parts or tools from one location to another. We then have the waste of inventory. Inventory is when you have more product available than customer demand. This drives up unnecessary storage costs and will fill up your warehouse. You spend time and money to make the product which cannot be sold. So we sometimes refer to it as sleeping money. Next is the waste of motion. Motion is the movement of personnel that does not add value to your product. Walking around searching for tools or parts is a good example of motion waste. Also, Poorly organized workstations will cause unnecessary motion in between performing value-added tasks. Fourth is the waste of waiting. Waiting occurs when the flow of work is interrupted. Examples could be waiting for approvals or waiting for materials to perform the next tasks. If you like this video so far, please get a big thumbs up and if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, leave a comment below. Now we get to the waste of overproduction. Overproduction is when we make more than what we need. Examples of this is knowingly producing more than what the next process can handle or making more than what the customer requires. We then can discuss the waste of overprocessing. Simply put, this is doing more than what is required by the customer. Examples can be too many approvals required or excessive amounts of quality checks. This problem is very common in regulated industries as companies tend to go overboard with what is required by law. Seventh is the waste of defects. Defects are errors that require additional time and resources to fix or reprocess them. An example is when a defective part or batch is detected that causes rework to either fix or check the product. And last but not least, the waste of skill. This is when we underutilize the skills and talent of our workers. Engaging experienced, high performing employees to provide feedback is a great way to continuously improve your processes. Now finally, as promised, the bonus tip on how to remember the eight ways of lean manufacturing is to use the simple acronym TIM Woods. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out more of my videos about Lean Six Sigma here.